up guys and welcome back tonight I am doing a solo camp but I am out in my backyard again so I was contemplating what I wanted to do this weekend we have no snow it's getting cold but we've had no snow and I want to do my next um, hot tent camp in a scene with snow like just to see how it goes but um, and I thought, hey, maybe I'll go up to my favorite lake because we haven't had much snow and I can never get in there this time of year because it's always tons of snow up there. And then I found out just by talking to a few people I know that are up around that area and they said there's no snow at all up there. So then I thought, hey, well, it'd be a perfect time to do another truck camp because I haven't done a truck camp in a while and uh, I'm kind of due for one. But driving home yesterday morning from work or yesterday afternoon from work and uh, I got like some kind of dirty wobble in the front end of my truck. So I'm almost positive I just need my tires balanced. Um, so nothing too serious, but again, I wasn't going to drive all the way up there two hours up north with that. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a hammock camp. I haven't done a hammock camp in a winter yet or in the cold weather yet. So I figured, Hey, why not come out here and try it out? Um, I've got my new sleeping bag. I can try out here. Um, I've got the under quilt under the, the hammock this time too. And I've only done the hammock camp one time. And, uh, that was in the summertime up at Matt's out in his bushes. So, uh, I think it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be an interesting night. Tonight's supposed to get down to about minus five degrees. So it's gonna, it is gonna be chilly, but it's not gonna be like extremely extreme cold. Um, so I'm gonna, I get to see at least how this, uh, this under quilt w works. Um, and again, I get to see, I got a minus 29, minus 30 Celsius sleeping bag. Uh, it's a mummy bag that I'm gonna try out too. And I made it kinda, or I bought this one because it's a little more manageable to put on the backpack. And uh, so everything I brought today is all come fit in the pack. So let's give you a tour of what we got going on here today. Cool. If you're new here and you haven't seen this, this is the homemade fire pit. We got some wood there. It's a little toasty, a little frosty. What else we got going on here? So here we have the hammock all set up. We're able to do a tree. Oh, you can see the pool in the background. What? Oh. Tons of smoke going on here. You see, we got the hammock set up today. Everything I brought today all fit in this new pack. And again, I wanted to uh, try this out. So I wanted to see what I could get into this pack, how much the pack weighed and everything else before I actually go on like, you know, somewhat of an excursion. So, and again, what just what I have here today, um, besides a little bit of food, uh, it was pretty light and I was able to lug it around no problem so i went walking around the yard a little bit just to get some exercise with that pack on too just to see and it uh it worked out pretty well so let's have a look inside here so again we got the hammock up here is the under quilt so we got this one it seems thin so i don't know exactly how well that's going to work but tonight i'll tell inside here we got our sleeping bag and here we got a pillow but now it's just a matter of will it uh will it be warm enough and uh, I guess we'll find out tonight. So uh, Beth's working tomorrow morning, so she's not coming out with me at all. But uh, well, she's gonna come out and have a couple drinks with me or whatever, sit by the fire. Um, yeah, then she's gonna take off for a bit and, or take off and go in the house and sleep. Again, she's gotta get up for work, so she's not gonna wanna be out here freezing her butt off all night and worried about if she's gonna freeze. So yeah, so I guess, yeah, tonight I'm just gonna sit around. I'm gonna cook up a nice little dinner. Uh, I got this new little um, pocket stove, I guess you call it, a little pocket wood stove, mini wood stove, mini wood burner, a little metal stove though. So I figured I'd get something like that in case uh, if I ever run out of propane or my jet boil runs out of fuel or something like that, then I always have a cooking source to, you know, with me. Um, and again, it's really light and foldable. So I'm gonna try that a little bit later. Um, I hope it's already getting dark now. It's like almost 5 p.m. So sun's going down real quick. Um, like I say, cute little spot really close to home so yeah we'll uh see what the night brings oh by the way in case you see this i had a little boo-boo i was trimming up some wood getting some killing going and i got a really really sharp knife and that knife right to the bone check this little clip out here we got beth patching me up Can you um, grab me 
some of the tape and just start cutting it into pieces. There you go. Probably, she said I probably could have used three stitches, but she was able to rig it up where uh, I didn't have to go tonight. And if uh, I'll check it in the morning or whatnot, keep my eye on it. And if, uh, if I feel like I need to go, I'll go first thing in the morning. But it seems to be doing pretty good now. She's got me uh, patched right up real good. Um, I'm not going to show it to you because it's all uh, it's all wrapped up. It's under my glove, but I got it all nice and wrapped up and I want to keep it clean. And uh, so, yeah, other than that, gang, we'll, uh, we'll see what the night brings, man. Like I say, we're just going to hang out, relax, get to test out some new gear. So really looking forward to it. We'll see you in a bit. So messy, so messy. Wow. Here guys, quite a good little camp meal.
but I'm telling you, this sauce, you mix anything with Greek yogurt, any kind of spices and other sauces into the Greek yogurt, you'll come up with some wicked stuff. I just kind of made this up on the fly. A little while ago, I tried it on uh, just with some pasta and chicken. But I love the sauce, so I just kind of continue to make it. It's not, uh, it's not like sour cream. It's a little thicker. It's very similar to sour cream, but I guess you could probably do the same thing. But Greek yogurt's a lot healthier too. Way more protein. So, cheers, guys. guys it is a chilly night it is already like minus two celsius right now fire's keeping us nice and toasty though again beth's not sleeping out here tonight she's going in the house no nope, gotta work tomorrow she gotta work tomorrow new year's eve yep days though so she'll be home bring the new year in yeah just in time to fall asleep yeah but yeah dinner was good I had a full belly the setup is so good. I thought Jason was a bit crazy with doing the, the tent like this, the hammock tent. Um, I hadn't actually gotten into it. And I, I was a bit reluctant. I thought maybe, you know, with being claustrophobic and stuff, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I actually loved it. Um, I haven't gotten into it like a sleeping bag or anything. Um, but just getting in, getting just kind of in a position, it is, it takes that pressure off, you know, some of your pressure points if you're laying on your hip, you know, and sometimes it hurts, starts hurting your hip or you don't feel that. So I really cannot wait to actually, um, have a night and sleep in the, uh, hammock tent. So kind of jealous of Jason tonight. Yeah, I should have got that on video. She's all nervous trying to get into it, but once she was in it, it was like a kid. Yeah, I wouldn't let him get that on video just in case I landed on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if it ends up being that we try it out, we'll probably get another one and just have them uh, hanging beside each other and we'll, we'll do a dual uh, hammock tent camp out. Yeah. But that will be in 2024. Yeah. Can't believe how fast uh, the year's gone by. I appreciate everybody for following us. Um, hopefully, we've got uh, a lot more to come. In yeah, guys. We just reached over 750 subscribers. So, thank you all again. That's a bonus. Yeah. And uh, again, we've got some something really cool planned here the first weekend of uh, February. We've got it booked. And I'm, I'm going to keep it a secret till we get there. Um, something we've never done before, but it just looks awesome. But a little hint. I hope there's snow. <laughs> It'll be way better if it's snow. If not, it's going to be an awesome weekend. And we're actually, we're going for the whole weekend, just the two of us. So, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I can't wait to do that. I'm really looking forward to that weekend. So yeah, besides that weekend, um, I'm going to start figuring out, planning out what I can do. Uh, a couple solar runs here. I'm due for a truck camp. I am really due for a truck camp here soon. So um, again, I'm kind of been waiting for snow, but and I've been crazy busy through the holidays, and now, uh, now that the holidays are pretty much done, said and done, then uh, I'm gonna get back out there again tonight. Like I say, my truck wasn't able to, uh, didn't want to take the risk on that one, so I figured, hey, you know what? I got to get a video out. So I've always wanted to try the hammock tent in the in the, in the cold weather, so I get to get to do that tonight and um, test out the new uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, yeah, I did mention that earlier as well. That uh, the new sleeping bag. Um, I think I'm too fat for it right now, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how how tight it fits. And Mama I'm a flopper. might have just gotten herself a new sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm a flopper when I sleep too. So it is a pretty expensive sleeping bag. So it uh... <laughs> yeah, it he fits in it fine. Yeah, but again, in my New Year's resolution, again, I don't know if anybody remembers or you see my videos before, but I lost 30 pounds before I started making videos. And then all this camping and stuff and done, I've done and the meals I've been making and the beers I've been drinking all summer long and in fall just making videos. I put all that weight right back on. So. Beers he's been drinking, yes. Yes. Cheers. Yeah, exactly. But uh, so yeah, that's all uh, 
New Year's resolution is to drop that 30 pounds again or drop another 30 pounds. I didn't quite gain the 30 pounds back yet, but I'm getting pretty close. But So that's my goal for the year and start making a whole lot of videos, try to get my videos a lot better. Uh, I've been learning, I've been doing a lot of research on it, even the photography itself and videography. So I'm smart enough now to put a light up <laughs> when, I'm, <laughs> when I'm trying to do some night shots. But yeah, we'll figure it out. And I think the new year is gonna be awesome. And again, guys, if uh, I think once we hit the thousand subscribers and uh, I'll do, we're gonna do like another giveaway and I'm gonna try to figure out an epic episode. So mm -hmm. I would love to do this fall or this February weekend if we got, there's no way that's gonna happen, but if we could get like the 250 subscribers between now and first weekend of February, then it would be, that would be an epic episode to do, but that's wishing. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this video will get lots of subs. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends. If you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe. Yes. And share it to all your friends. Yeah, so what I've done too, so you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, it's just at Get and Go. Uh, I've also started my own Facebook group uh, with all kinds of camping, truck camping, car camping, hammock camping, just all camping. I call, it's called the Ultimate Camping Group. I'll leave a, a link in the description here as well. Um, so if you guys are interested in joining that as well, and then post on there. Like I love seeing people's posts because it gives me ideas of mm -hmm. what I want to try. Like I love seeing how other people camp and gear the try. So that'd be so awesome if you guys could actually, you know, contribute to that and fill us in, give us some try things to try out. Uh, again, you can always comment on this video as well. Um, you know, there's something, something that would be exciting to try. I mean, what some things that are interesting for you might be interesting for us. So give us ideas. Yeah, like I say, I've got the hammock tent now. We've got the hot tent now. We've got the truck camper. We've got the old basic tent, <laughs> so we can be glamping. But I mean, if there's something else to try, to try it. I'm not gonna be spending a ton of money on gear, though. I spend enough on gear. So my 2024 resolution is to not spend so much money on gear <laughs> this year. But we'll still get the odds and ends. Like I'm not, I'm don't, I have no desire to get into a rooftop tent or anything like that. Not with a truck camper I have. And again, I like the kayak not fish. Yet. So I'd love to be able to just throw my kayak on top of there when I'm doing a solo run as well. On top of the cap, sorry. So I, I don't think I'll ever get into the, the, the rooftop tents, but I think they're pretty cool and some of the setups they do. Um, and any extra money I do start getting now, I'll actually start let, getting to put into the truck eventually. Like I need some more recovery gear and this and that, that'll bring me to a couple more spots I'd be able to get into and let me get out and explore a little bit more, but. If not. So yeah, guys, we're gonna sit out here, have a couple drinks. Let this fire that burn down. That's gonna head into bed, and uh, I might have one more Coors Light and try to fit my fat ass in that hammock, and or try to fit my fat ass <laughs> in that hammock. Does he sound like he needs another <laughs> one? <laughs> I'm fit my fat ass in that hammock, and uh, I think I'm gonna sleep pretty good. Again, I'm actually pretty toasty right now, just sitting here by the fire. But um, yeah, I guess uh, we'll see you for coffee in the morning, guys. See ya. guys it took some work but I am tucked in I'm not sure I'm gonna need this pillow I might throw that underneath here in a little bit but uh, I'm actually quite cozy this sleeping bag was freezing when I got in I'm already warm I'm not totally into it yet because I gotta tuck my arms in and I gotta be able to hold the selfie stick as I'm taking this so but all in all I think it's uh I think I'm gonna do pretty good tonight I'm actually quite cozy. It, uh, I'm not claustrophobic again, which is good. I'm keeping this flap open. I don't know if you can see that. The feet are wide up. Let's see here. The feet are all nice and toasty in the bag. I got room to move around a little bit. 
So I'm on a little bit of an up. So I think uh, it's nothing to really worry about, but as you can see my breath, it's already like minus four degrees right now. So, and I got no heater. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this shit. But uh, yeah, so I guess we'll see you in the morning for coffee. Again, I am quite cozy. I'm going to pass out pretty quick in here. I'm not going to lie. See you then. Well, good morning, guys. I slept pretty good. Uh, I was kind of up and my finger was throbbing a bit. So I was getting up a little bit, turn the light on and checking on it. But it ain't bleeding anywhere. So that's good. But uh, I actually stayed pretty toasty in here. I was really warm. This blanket or the sleeping bag, really good. I did sleep with the jacket on though. Um, I am a little thick in the shoulders, so the sleeping bag's a little bit tight. So I just kind of kept my arms out and my hand did get cold, but I was able to just tuck it in when I needed to. But all in all, this sleeping bag's done really, really well. Um, I can't tell you if the underquilt has been been any good for me, but because I've never this is the first time using it, and again with the sleeping bag, but. I think it, it was probably colder if, if I didn't, so it probably did some good. Um, I did keep this flap open here, and I just check it in. We didn't get much snow at all. We got a little bit of sprinkle. Just banged most of it off already today. But, uh, but yeah, I feel uh, totally comfortable enough now that I can do this um, in this kind of weather. Um, it's, again, it's a bonus having this here right close to home, but, yeah, my face did get cold last night, but I did get this little neck gaiter. It's merino wool, and it, uh, it actually kept my face quite warm. And uh, it's dry. It's really dry, so like my breath, everything else. I do have a lot of ventilation in here. Again, I kept this open so I could just kind of have a peek. And it didn't really get any windy or too windy last night, so I was able to uh, keep that open and not worried about it making too much noise. But, yeah, guys, all in all, beauty i could totally do this again everything fit in my pack that i brought today and uh except for a little bit of food and uh so i think i'm gonna go out and adventure a little bit with this setup but yeah guys well everybody's gone to work today so i gotta go on the house i gotta let the dogs go pee so i'm probably just gonna end the video here um and yeah we'll see you in our next one guys thanks for watching